put a helm in. Uh, the one thing I didn't show you did before, I loosen this up and you manually take okay. the fuel gauge and just put the height and then lock it. And that's it. It takes three seconds. So it's just homing in on the zero. Uh, so it make sure your brace of hopper is filled and your water line is on. And you just make sure that you fasten your material to the cup bed. We did. Um, I'm going to do a little dry run, so just to make sure that my material is in the spot that it needs to be. If you, if you need to on the fly, you can do some micro adjustments <laughs> on the X and Y right on here. That's so cool. Alright, so it looks like we're right on our running with that. So it's going to get really loud for a yeah. second as it pierces, and now it's quieter. So that's that's it piercing all the way through the material. So this will take about four minutes on this cut. So right now it's doing that center circle on there. And so actually you can see the software too at the same time. So you're using just regular tap water? Yep. Just regular tap water. And the uh, drain. And the drain. And then uh, there's a normal one gen outlet and then abrasive on that one. So what we have here is a desktop water jet using uh, 110 power. Um, just using uh, regular water and a drain on it as well. If you're interested, uh, just check on the link below. Wazer. Wazer, sorry. Wazer.com. Yeah, Wazer.com. Wazer.com. So uh, if interested, please just check out Wazer.com in the link below. We have multiple materials that you can cut on your desktop water jet here. You can see the Lego material here, fabrics, mirrored acrylic, plywood. So here you can see it. These are all on a medium finish, so you can go even finer than that. 